So good morning to all of you. Today we are going to start limit state of collapse in torsion. So in this lecture we are going to see only the behavior of the torsion moment on the beam. What are the various moment types? Okay, and later on we are going to see the design of torsion beam as per as physics. Okay, so in introduction to the torsion, as you know. Load acting normal to the plane of bending will causes the bending moment and shear force. Okay, you can see this is load normal to the plane of bending. So that's why bending of beam you can see like this. Okay, here are two columns. On two column beam is going to here rest and the loading is applied on the beam and due to that the bending of beam going to happen like this. Okay, same with the same way the shear force also. Okay, so normally we are going to design the beam for bending moment and shear force also. What is meant by torsion now? So for torsion now, so see here, load when at away from the plane of bending. So if, if this is beam and this is plane of bending, okay, will induce the torsion moment along with the bending moment and the shear force. So here you can see the load is going to act away from the plane of bending so this is load on the bending plane of beam here you here the bending plane of beam is here and load is away from that plane so due to that what happened due to that the extra moment is going to generate and that moment is called as a torsional moment okay due to this torque here the torque is going to develop and the moment due to that torque is called as a torsional moment okay and the beam is subjected along with this bending shear force and the torsional moment so while we, when we are going to design the beam at the time we are going to consider torsion moment bending moment and shear force also okay next behavior of the torsion torsion moment are two types first is a primary or equilibrium torsion and second is a secondary and compatibility torsion what is mean by primary torsion now it is required for the basic static equilibrium of the most statically determined structures when when uh, what happen when we are going to consider the structure which is statically indeterminate in that case we are going to consider the primary torsion and this torsion moment must be considered in the design so remember when, uh, when we are going to consider the primary torsion when the structure is a statically determinant structure okay now see uh, second is a secondary torsion or the compatibility torsion is required to satisfy the compatibility condition between the members so no specific design for torsion is required here okay in secondary torsion now you are going now we are going to see what happen when the torsion moment is going to act on beam so here we have considered the cantilever beam okay and on this cantilever beam the torsion moment is going to apply and due to this torsion pure torsion moment the shear stresses are going to develop and the shear stresses are going to develop in the plane of the beam like this okay next due to this torsion moment also in here on the beam same that cantilever beam the principal stresses are going to develop due to this pure torsion the principal stresses are going to develop like this next due to this torsion the, the moment is going to apply this uh, on this uh, uh, beam and the beam is going to torque okay the beam is going to torque and due to this torque the crack is going to develop in the beam and the beam is going to fail in crack like this so here see the for the bottom plane ab is this crack and for the front view the front plane the bc develop the, the in uh, front plane the crack develop is a bc and for the top plane the crack is a cd you can see here okay and for bottom back side view again of back side of the beam again the crack is developed like de okay so general concept here what is torsional moment so torsional moment is going to develop like this and due to this torsional moment the beam can break in a cracking also now next along with this torsion when the stresses is going to develop due to 
portion shear and moment also means while designing we are not going to consider only torsion moment on the beam we are going to consider the shear force as well as the bending moment and for that we are going to design the beam so here you can see the shear stresses due to the pure torsion torsion earlier also we have seen this slide so here when the beam is subjected with the shear force that case also what happened that you are going to see here so when the beam is subjected with the only pure torsion the shear stresses are developed like this next shear stresses due to the direct shear so when the shear force only apply on this beam okay the shear stresses are going to develop like this here you can see the front view of the beam front side of the beam you can see the shear stresses and back side view you can see in dotted the shear stresses are developed due to this shear force so here we are not going to we have not considered only uh, uh, we, here we are not considered the torsion moment here only we have considered the shear force cracking next cracking due to the torsion and the shear force okay what happened when beam is subjected with the torsion along with the shear force so here you can see the torsion and along with the shear force the crack is going to develop like this so in front view you can see here the crack ab top view bc and like cd so this this crack is going to develop due to the effect of shear force and the torsional moment okay so this is about the behavior of the torsional moment on the beam what happened to beam how the shear stresses are going to develop how the principal stresses are going to develop what is combination of torsional moment and the shear force happen what is behavior of beam that we have seen in this video okay next lecture we are going to start the design of beam subjected with the torsion as per is 456 2000 okay thank you for watching video